Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome to another Nerdy Nummies. Today I have a very special guest. It's the Warp Zone! Yay! <laughs> I love these guys. We've known each other for a very long time. And I'm so happy to have them on the show. For those of you who aren't familiar with their channel, I'm going to put links down below. They make a bunch of nerdy, geeky, video game inspired skits and music. One of my favorite series that they do, they do different theme songs a cappella. They've got some pipes. I love the Game of Thrones one. That's my favorite. Game! Oh, that was beautiful. We have so many handsome faces behind me. I'm going to introduce everybody. We got Brian, Tro, Davis, Odom, and Ryan. And today we've got our sexy leader hosens on. Ooh. We're dressed like Mr. Prickle Pants. Why, you ask? Because I got so many requests to make something Toy Story themed, and my favorite character is from Toy Story 3, Mr. Prickle Pants. He's a little hedgehog and he wears a leader hose in. And today we're gonna be making a recipe we've never made before from scratch. We're gonna be making cream puff hedgehogs. Let's get started! The recipe that we're gonna be making today are chocolate filled cream puffs. Have you ever had a cream puff before? Probably. Is this the first time you've made one? Yes, definitely. This is a first. The things you will need for the recipe will be one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of water, six to seven eggs, every recipe varies slightly, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, and three-fourths cup of butter. You will also need one box of instant chocolate pudding, one and a half cups of milk, chocolate vermicelli, and some dark cocoa candy melts. Now, now let's, let's put, put it all together. together. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do mm -hmm. is uh, pour in our butter, our water, our sugar, and our salt. Here, we're gonna start with the butter. You can handle the water. And you can pour in the sugar because you're so sweet. Oh, and I'll do you. the salt. Because you're so salt. salty. Now we're gonna take our pot and our flour over to the stove. To make our cream puffs, turn the heat to high and allow the mixture to come to a full boil. Once the mixture is boiling, add all the flour at once. With a wooden spoon, mix until a dough forms and no flour is visible. Cook over the flame for one minute. Once cooked, turn off the heat and remove from stove. All right, now we've taken our dough and put it in this bowl from the stove, mm -hmm. and we are going to mix it on a low speed. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's really hot, just came from the stove. We're gonna mix it together until it becomes warm. We want it to cool down a little bit. All right, so all get right, in here there. We go. See, look at all that steam coming look out. Look at that, wow, that's, wow. Yeah, that's a Ooh, lot. We could like get a steam facial over here. Now we're gonna add our eggs. We're gonna be adding them one at a time. You're gonna add one egg, mix it up. Tro, you'll mix it up. Got it. And then we'll add another egg, mix it up. We're gonna add at least five, but depending on how warm our dough is, maybe six or seven. We'll see, we're gonna test the consistency. I'll show you how. You ready? Ready. And mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix. Shoulder, 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 mix shoulder, like shoulder, the wind. Shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Does the wind do much mixing? Like yeah. tornadoes. Oh yeah, tornadoes are basically nature's blender. If you throw dough and eggs in a tornado, you could like get a really good dough guy. It'll oh, like, yeah. turn into a good cake dough. We've mixed the five eggs. Now we're gonna do the dough test like I was talking about. Shro's gonna do it with me. Oh absolutely. So you're gonna okay. take a little pinch of dough. A little pinch. Like this pinch. between your fingers, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna slowly pull it apart. And if it breaks, you'll know it's not ready. It needs more eggs. More eggs. All right, All in right. you go. Let's see. All right, egg. Okay, final test. This is the one. Oh, that's gooey. Uh... Now that our batter is ready, we're gonna scoop it into a piping bag. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, we've scooped our batter into these piping bags. Mine mm -hmm. has a one A tip. That's right, and mine has a open star tip. And the first thing that we're gonna do is we got a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper. We're gonna put a little bit of batter, it's very sticky, on the back of the parchment sheet in the corners. Got okay, it. then we're gonna stick them down. I'm gonna pipe the body. And I'm gonna pipe the head. That's right. We're gonna start with the body. For the body, we're just gonna go like this and pipe up. Whoop. 
Come forward, boom, and you're gonna put the head right, right there. there. All right. Pipe, 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 pipe. pipe. And boom. Enough. And All then right. this little part right here. Oh, that looks like a little little Hershey Kiss top. So we're just gonna mm -hmm. dip our fingers in some water here and flatten it out. Our batter won't stick to the water. And we're gonna do this for the rest of our tray. Our cream puffs are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to 400 degrees and bake for 15 minutes and then. We're gonna turn it down to 350 and mm -hmm. bake for another 15 to 20 minutes. All right, so while those are baking in the oven, mm -hmm. we're gonna prep our chocolate pudding filling. That's right, here we've got our bowl, our instant pudding, and our milk. We are using one and a half cups of milk instead of two because we want our pudding to be a little bit thicker. This is super easy. Okay, I'm gonna open this up and pour it in. Mm -hmm. Pour it in there. That's okay if you get <laughs> some on your fingers. Yeah. Cause then you Just get a cook. treat. I help. Then I'm gonna add the milk and I'm gonna have you whisk it up. Sorry, I scratched you. <laughs> I was down right with my nail. I was like <laughs> I I was gonna keep going, I'm a professional. Whisk together until well combined. What did the hedgehog say to the other hedgehog? You're what? looking sharp. Uh, 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 uh. I'm not the best at how, these. How sharp are hedgehogs? They're really pokey. Okay, now that it's all mixed up, we're gonna place it in the fridge to chill for five minutes and then put it in piping bags. Okay, so now that our cream puffs have baked and cooled, mm -hmm. we're gonna take them and uh, put some little holes into our naked hedgehogs here. To make the hole, you're gonna take a wooden skewer, pick them up, flip them upside down, and then poke. Ooh, and you don't wanna poke the wooden skewer all the way through, just on the bottom. Then, this hole is not big enough for our filling, so we're just gonna make little circles, making it a little bit bigger. Yours is better, look at this, you guys. Oh, I can Skills. make it a little wider. How come I'm so beaded, Dave? I'm really good at eating them. <laughs> <laughs> now it is time to decorate. This is one of my favorite parts. We're gonna dip them. Over here I've got the dark cocoa candy melt, and we're gonna dip just the top of the body of the hedgehog. So I'm just gonna do this, just eyeball it, doesn't need to be perfect. And then you're gonna dip it in the vermicelli. The so flip vermicelli. it upside down, just to get a bunch of them to stick to the chocolate. Yeah. So they look like little hedgehog spikes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that little hedgehog. It's so cute. Then we're gonna do this to the rest of our cream puffs. Well, now we have our hedgehogs all dipped, mm -hmm. and now we're gonna fill them with the chocolate cream filling. I took our pudding filling out of the refrigerator and I put them into these little plastic baggies with tips at the end for a little bit more control. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You're gonna pick up a little hedgehog, flip them upside down, and the little hole we made earlier, you're gonna place the tip right there and apply pressure. Your cream puff will start to get heavier. You wanna lean to the back and the front, because it's all hollow inside. Oh, there we go, that's full. <laughs> Look at this one, he's a leader in. I wanna do him. He's like me. And this one's like me, it's lopsided. <laughs> and people don't wanna hang out with it. And for the final step, we're just gonna pipe on their cute little chocolate faces. That's right, two eyeballs and a little nose. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of our hedgehogs. Da -da! <laughs> Here are the cream puff hedgehogs that we made today to look like Mr. Prickle Pants from Toy Story 3. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting something Toy Story themed. And a big thank you to the Warp Zone <laughs> for helping me bake today. I love these guys. I'm gonna be putting their links down down below, so go check them out, say hi, and I'll be taking lots of pictures of these little treats and posting them on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter, and if you guys make these, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your bacon creations. I get a big kick out of it. It makes my day, and if you have any other ideas for any other nutty nummies, please let me know, leave me a comment down below, and I will do my best to make it happen. All right, thanks again, you guys, bye-bye. Bye. 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 All right, you guys wanna eat one? Yeah. yeah! Okay, yeah, you're doing a good go job. I straight for the butt. <laughs> is that where all the cream is? Oh! oh. oh. Mm. <laughs> Bye! Bye. Bye.